Comedian Dave Chappelle has become a controversial figure on the left, uh, not because he is making conservative or right-wing jokes, but because he is not accepting the parameters of identity politics. This is a guy who's a politically incorrect comedian for the obvious reason that that's where the humor is. That's where people, those are the taboos of our society, and it's natural that that's going to be the place where comedians are going to go. But the left is sort of on a crusade to get Chappelle. And here's an article in the LA Times, uh, Dave Chappelle rebuffs affordable housing in Ohio hometown. So if you read the article, it appears like Dave Chappelle is just a, you know, callous guy. He's a rich guy in a big town. And, you know, the town is considering some affordable housing and Chappelle is not going to have any of it. In fact, the article has the headline, I am not bluffing. Apparently what happens is we're talking about the town of Yellow Springs, Ohio, and uh, they um, they were going to build um, 140 new homes on 53 acres of land. This is a developer in the area. And the, the town council had said, listen, if you're going to do that, we want you to also build an affordable housing component with some townhomes and duplexes because uh, home prices have just escalated in this town. Now, um, Dave Chappelle shows up at the council meeting. Uh, Dave Chappelle was apparently planning to make a pretty big investment in the, the town. Where he's going to uh, put up a new restaurant, a new comedy club. And basically, Dave Chappelle said, quote, I am not bluffing. I will take it all off the table. That's all. Thank you. So in other words, if you go ahead with this uh, whole project, uh, I'm going to pull my business out of the town. And apparently that was enough leverage for the town to vote two to two with one guy abstaining. And so essentially, it's going to be no affordable housing in uh, Yellow Springs, Ohio, at least no new affordable housing. Now, uh, the LA Times article, and this is typical of the coverage of this, seems to suggest that Chappelle just doesn't want like poor people or relatively poor people moving into the town. But the moment you look a little more closely, you realize that's actually not what the fight is about at all. So this is a smear on Chappelle. Here's the truth of the matter. You've got Yellow Springs. It's a really small town, 4,000 people. It's got a kind of a college town vibe. An outside developer comes in. And this guy bought a huge plot of land, 50 acres. They want to build 140 very costly homes, costly by comparative standards. So the typical Ohio home is about $200,000. And these homes are going to be three hundred to $600,000. And apparently a lot of residents of the town, like the small town, college, even village feel, the local council, by the way, is called the village council. Uh, they don't want outside developers changing the complexion of the town. And so uh, what the town council did in sort of um, its usual kind of muscling style is they basically said to the developer, listen, we'll let you make this development um, of, um, of uh, all these um, homes, the 140 homes, if uh, you create some, if you essentially give us some of that land to build affordable housing. And the developer goes, okay, well, I'll let you build it affordable housing. I'm not going to build it, but I'll let you build it on this land. So it was kind of one of those, you could call it the price of doing business, a little bit of the town council shakedown. And so the point is that Dave Chappelle didn't oppose the affordable housing. He opposed the development. He didn't want all these new homes popping up in the area, changing the complexion of town. He was hardly alone in this. But what the developer did was focus on the affordable council and then go affordable housing and go running to the LA Times and go, listen, Dave Chappelle's against affordable housing. No, Dave Chappelle wasn't against the affordable housing. The affordable housing was merely the kind of add-on to the development itself. So the the fight was over the development. Should this town allow all these new homes to be built? Yes or no. Uh, now, of course, the irony of all this is that the town council decided we'll shelve the affordable housing component, but they decided to go ahead uh, with the development. So in some way, Chappelle didn't get everything he wanted. In fact, he didn't get the thing he wanted most, which is to stop this accelerated pace of development in the first place. Uh, the net effect is that the development goes, continues apace. The affordable housing is put to the side. But the point I'm trying to make is that while they're making it look like Dave Chappelle is against affordable housing, what he was really against is, as he saw it, accelerated development in a town that he wanted to stay 
relatively the same.